Hi, I'll tell you about iodine scintigraphy and radio ablation. Now, you have already undergone total thyroidectomy and near total thyroidectomy. And we don't want any thyroid tissue to left behind in the neck. So we have to confirm that. For that, you have to undergo iodine scintigraphy. So in a simple words, I'll explain in short, what are we going to do? So we'll give you a radioactive material and we'll check with the camera whether and the radioactive is iodine actually, which will get concentrated only in thyroid containing tissue. So if when it gets concentrated in thyroid containing tissue, that means there is a thyroid tissue there. Even that has to be moved. So how do you do that? Now, most of the cases what happens is, maybe you have undergone the surgery in a small town or in a city and for this nuclear medicine department, you need to be referred to a higher center. In case you are referred to a higher center, you have to take the following documents like discharge summary and biopsy report. Not only that, you need the, to take the specimen also and the slide too. So when you are referred to a higher center with all these documents, they will reconfirm the diagnosis. Once this is reconfirmed, then you will refer to the new medicine, the nuclear medicine department. There they will give an appointment for iodine scintigraphy. But they will ask you a few questions. They will ask you whether you have stopped all these medicines at least for two weeks. Are you taking these or not? So the surgeon have already advised you to not to take all this. I have, I have mentioned about this in the previous uh, part also. These are steroids, nitrates, cough syrup, antihistamines and vitamins and you need to avoid seafoods, dairy products, egg yolks, soya products, fortified bread and iodized salt. The last one is very important, iodized salt. You have to avoid all this till the whole procedure is over. Now, the answer is going to be that the surgeon has already told you and you have not been taking this. So, you will get the earliest appointment. So, and this first, you are going to find out whether the tissue is there or not. So, the radioactive material which you are going to take, the dose is very less. So, one day prior, you need to be nil per oral from midnight onwards. Next day morning, you reach the hospital, you have appointment time and you will be given to drink or in a capsule form. So that radioactive iodine molecule, these are absorbed from the digestive system. It reaches the bloodstream and it is getting absorbed. It will get absorbed in the remnant, if at all there is there, remnant thyroid tissue. Now, when it gets considered in the remnant thyroid tissue, we have to know the quantity with the help of gamma camera. This is how it looks like. And we have a report saying that either it is positive or it is negative. Whatever the case is, now coming to the advice after the surgery, yeah, as mentioned, it's a OPD procedure. You are being discharged home, you are sent home. So when you travel back home, you have to maintain distance from others because you have taken in radioactive material, which is be, which will be emitted from your body. So anybody who is coming near you may be affected. So you have, you have to make, uh, keep distance from others. And a few advice at home. You will be given a separate room, bath attached room. You have to be inside the room and to be away from others. You have to drink a lot of water and avoid contact with children, pregnant ladies. Drink lemon juice because the radioactive material it may get concentrated in the salivary glands. If so, it will get swollen and painful. So just to drain it out, you need to drink lemon juice daily till the next swelling comes down. So in that room, you have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything in that room. It will be provided to you and the, all the utensils which you are using, it's meant for you only not to be clean with other utensils. Uh, whenever you, take, you go to the restroom, you have to flush twice, wash your hands twice. Because all this radioactive material, it may be, it will be drained out from the urine. You have to uh, flush out twice at least. So all your personal things, it should not be shared with others. 
and the clothes your clothes should be washed separately these precautions are very important and is it's only for two or three days so now the report the radio uh, the skindigraphy report suppose it has come unfortunately suppose it has come positive in that case the residual thyroid tissue has to be removed so what we are going to do is we are going to give you a radioactive material in a higher dose so that the whatever thyroid gland tissue is left behind it can be burned out ablated so you will be given a next appointment for that so preparation is the same nilper oral prior to the procedure but this time it is not a opd procedure you are going to be admitted why because you have the following com uh, complications now when you the same like previously they will give you a capsule or a drink which will be absorbed in, from the intestine it reaches the remaining thyroid tissue in the neck and because of the higher concentration the radiation destroys the residual cancerous tissue the complications are neck pain and swelling nausea and vomiting and even the bone marrow may be depressed so your hemoglobin wbc platelet count may level may come down likewise and other complication uh, the common complication is that you will be have you will have swelling the neck and especially the salivary glands will be swollen it will be painful also dry mouth and taste changes now we have late complications and you may develop any other some other type of cancer after so many years so to to manage all these complications we are advising you to stay over and you, and for 3 4 days that's why you have been admitted so you'll be on iv fluids taking your food no, properly at the, the proper time how much over you can drink lot of water you have to undergo uh, blood test repeatedly to know whether there is bone marrow depression or not so that we can manage accordingly uh, try to avoid oily foods drink lemon juice and if you have acidity problem you try uh, you will be given medicines for that so once this procedure radio ablation is done your treatment is complete now so you will be advised to take eltroxin that will be taken what the the specific dosage it has to be taken in the morning on empty stomach as soon as you get up from get up in the morning with sips of water only after half an hour you should can take any other form of medicine or you can take your food normally so tablet calcium and vitamin d will be prescribed and you have to continue with this tablet calcium and vitamin d along with eltroxin but it should not be taken together and eltroxin should be only in the morning not to be combined any other medication you will be given regular follow up dates so whenever you go for follow up these are the tests they are going to ask for serum thyroglobulin t3 t4 tsh blood calcium phosphorus and magnesium so with that your treatment comes to an end so most of the patients this treatment is more than enough is very less number of patients they have recurrence so i'll tell you about that in part 5 do watch thank you so much